Good evening. Good evening, doctor. Hello, my name is Muhammad. I'm one of the surgical doctor. May I confer your name and age, please? Uh, my name is John, doctor. You need. Uh, I supposed to be in front of your notes. Okay, nice to meet you, Mr. John. I'm sorry for that. I just want to confirm your name. Uh, yeah. Uh, how can I help you today, Mr. John? I have I have severe chest pain, doctor. I have severe chest pain, and I have coughing. And you need to figure this out. I'm really sorry to hear that, Mr. John. Could you tell me more about this? Yeah, I just started. As you know, I had my hip surgery two days ago, and now I feel this pain in my chest. It's very severe pain, doctor. I'm really sorry, Mr. John. Could you tell me where this pain exactly? It's here on my chest. Here. Okay, I can see. When did it start? Uh, just two hours ago. Did it start suddenly or gradually? It started uh, suddenly, doctor. I can see. Okay, Mr. John. Uh, is this being present all, all the day or come and go? Doctor, I just told you two hours ago. I did. I don't know. Can see. Okay. Is there anything make this pain increase or decrease? Ah, uh, no, nothing. Nothing I'm aware of. Okay, Mr. John. In a scale of one to ten, one being the lowest pain and ten being the highest pain, how could you score this pain? It's ten, doctor. Okay, Mr. John. How about your health pain recently? Uh, I just had the surgery of my hip, as I told you. Can see. Do you have any? You said that you have a cough. Uh, yes, I have cough. Yes, cough with the pain and uh, the, the blood coming out when I cough. Is it large amount of blood? Uh, no, just uh, strikes. Do you have any shortness of breath? <laughs> I think I have shortness of breath. Yeah. <clears throat> so okay. Did you experience any? Uh, uh, calf swelling or pain? Yes, yes, I have that on my right okay. calf. Okay. Uh, when when you start notice this swelling? As I told you, this uh, my fourth day of the surgery. I noticed the swelling in the third day. Okay, Mr. John, did you travel recently? No, I didn't. Uh, Mr. John, do you feel your heartbeat? Uh, no, I don't feel my heartbeat. Did you experience any shortness of breath while lying flat? No, I just have this shortness of breath with the, with the pain, as I told you. I can see. Okay, Mr. John, could you tell me how many pillow that you sleep with? Just one, doctor. Just one. And please uh, give me something for this pain, please. Okay, do you need any pain color? Okay, I can prescribe oh, you oh. being killer. Are you able to continue? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. J Mr. John. Uh, did you experience any weight loss or general tiredness? No, no. Do no. you have any trauma in your chest recently? No, no, no. Okay, have you had a fever? No. Any night is sweating? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, Mr. John, do you have any heartburn or you feel acid test in your mouth? No, no, no. Mr. John, did you experience similar symptoms in your boss? No. Okay, Mr. John, regarding to your family, is there any one of your family experience similar symptom? No, doctor, no. Ah, uh, no. <clears throat> I can't see. Okay, Mr. John, do you take any regular medication? Yes, doctor. I take some of uh, medication for my for my osteoarthritis. I'm really sorry to hear that. Could you tell me what type of this medication? I don't know. It's one of the painkillers, doctor. Please, now my problem is with my chest. I'm sorry. And I answered a lot of questions. Please solve this problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. John. Don't worry, Mr. John. We will help you. Mr. John, now I want to ask you a personal question. Is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Could you tell me what do you do for a living? I'm a teacher, doctor. Oh, nice I to don't know what this has to do with my pain. 
Don't worry, we will take care of you. Who live with you? My wife. Do you have any difficulty with Terry? No, no. Do you smoke, Mr. John? No, I don't. Do you drink alcohol? No. Okay, Mr. John. Uh, could you tell me uh, what do you think the cause is? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, doctor. I don't know. What is the most concern? Uh, I have this pain. Just relieve my pain, please. Uh, what about your expectation from us? Relieve the pain, doctor, please. Relieve the pain. Okay, Mr. John, don't worry. We'll take care of you. Okay, Mr. John, do you have any headache? No, I don't. Any joy in pain or change in skin color? No. Any problem with urination or tummy pain? No, no, no. Okay, Mr. John, we have reached to our end of question. You have been so cooperative. Thank you so much. Okay, doctor. Okay, so can you present your patient, please? I took clinical history from this gentleman, 56 years old, who present with uh, acute chest pain, severe in nature, sudden in onset, two hours ago. Uh, this pain uh, associated with the cough, which contain a small amount of blood and uh, shortness of breath. Also, patient experience called the swelling and pain. He had uh, hip surgery four days ago. So my main diagnosis is pulmonary embolism. Okay, and what's your differential diagnosis? Also, I will consider myocardial infarction and pneumonia, atlectasis, heart embolism, and DVT. Okay. okay, and how will you treat the, how will you investigate this patient? Okay, uh, first I will uh, start by consider computed tomography, pulmonary angiograph, then uh, chest X-ray, ECG, and arterial blood gas. Uh, then I will consider a blood investigation like full blood count, estimate hemoglobin and, you, and white blood cell, also urea and electrolyte and renal function test. D dimer. And what's your diagnostic investigation out of all of this? Is a computed tomography, pulmonary angiograph. Okay. After, and how after will you that, manage this patient? Okay, I will manage this patient according to the care of critical ill surgical patient. Uh, start by ABCD approach. Uh, make sure that airway patent uh, breathing is uh, normal and circulation. I will start by insert by check the blood pressure, uh, pulse rate, capillary fill time, mental status, and urine output. And I will start by insert two bore white cannula. Uh, take blood investigation and start. Uh, if the patient is low risk of thromboembolism. I will give the patient bullets of uh, unfractionated heparin, 80 milligram, 80 international unit per K, and, uh, and give him 18 international unit as maintenance until BTT be between 40 to 60 seconds. If the patient is high risk of thromboembolism, I will consider thrombolysis and embolectomy after, and I will discuss this management with a multidisciplinary team. Okay. That's all. Thank you. You can go to the next station. Thank you so much.